All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Speedruns from the Crypt. It is your bi-weekly horror hotfix, and hopefully you are all doing great today. Uh, I'm pretty much back from TwitchCon uh, Vegas, there's GDQX there, uh, so a lot of travels. But we are approaching the spooky season, so hope you are all have, have been getting into the spirit. Uh, I figured a fun way to kind of cap off the month here at the Crypt, uh, although I guess we do have the Halloween special coming up on Halloween Day in about six days, but for the actual Crypt side of things, I thought we'd put up uh, kind of one of my favorite ones to watch and just one something we haven't had on in quite a while. Uh, for those of you who do not know, the e Thin has a unique difficulty mode where you die in a single hit and it's pretty brutal. Uh, I think we had it on like, I think well over a year and some change ago. However, there's been a lot of changes since and with that, we'll be seeing some cool stuff. Uh, as well, we're gonna be amping up even further, which I'll have a runner describe. Anyway, here is the evil within with the Jigsaw Killer. Take it away. Okay, hello there everybody. I'm a Jigsaw Killer. I speedrun this game. Tonight we're going to be showing off the hardest mode, as Ekdysis was saying. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go right into the game here. I'll do a countdown. Yep, on your mark. So Akuma, one hit and it's all over. Worst than Nightmare, this is pure hell. So yeah, I'll do a countdown here for Wendy, for the, just to match the IGT. So, three, two, one, and go. Oh, so yeah, this is Evil Within. This is the hardest mode in the game. Uh, like we were just saying, you die in one hit. Uh, the things to point out with this difficulty is that, specifically on Nightmare and Akumu, the enemies are, their animations are faster and so on. It makes them more aggressive than if you've played this game like on a first playthrough, which is, you know, you have to select either casual or survival. They're, you know, the, the enemy's animations are a lot slower, but once you beat the game once and you unlock Akuma mode, you know, their their animations are all sped up, they're more aggressive. And, it smells like blood. Uh, there's like all new right. enemy placements as well, unique enemy placements when you select hard difficulty. And uh, yeah, basically over this, Don't the course of this speed run, I'm going to just explain what I'm doing, here. best way to Your tackle backup. some areas and, you know, go from there. Uh, so yeah, we're, do we're specifically doing New Game Akumu, starting out fresh. We're doing this with no uh, DLC pack. Specifically, what that means is there is a pre-order pack for something? this game called the Fight and Chance pack. This gives you a a uh, double barrel shotgun, which is like really overpowered. Someone it's more it's more p powerful than the, the regular shotgun you get and before you start upgrading that. Um, you also get 5k extra gel, you get you like uh, these here? like really powerful bolts called the flame bolts Can't and they're, they're very, uh, they're extremely the powerful, they make the, the speed run more quicker. Um, I think, I think that's everything I'm talking about, you get poison something. bolts as well, but they're not as, they're not as good, but you get them for, you get one for free, so, and you also get a, uh, a med kit, but it's a cool move, so that doesn't even matter. So at the beginning, this this this, uh, this game has like a long uh, on rails intro. So for the most part, there's not really that much going on in chapter one here. It's mostly just holding forward with Sebastian. He uh, walks very slowly, and then you know once you get to these parts, he starts limping and so on. But believe me when I say, once it gets to chapter two, you'll see how much of a 180 the game takes and how crazy it gets. Um. But yeah, I think this is the, I think this is the third time we've had the Evil Within on, on, on a GDQ now. Um, I, I believe the first time I did this was about probably about two years ago in 2021, and back then I, I specifically ran the game on 30 FPS because th this game isn't, it's not the best optimized, and the, not only because of the difficulty setting that the enemies are sped up. But that plus the higher frame rate, uh, the enemies are even more aggressive. It's easier for the enemies to hit you or, you know, enter a grab animation. So I, for the longest time, I specifically stuck to 30 FPS just to make it easier. But, you know, that, that will also make the game slower and it's, you know, you'll, you're, you're going to lose like time overall when you're actually running the game. But uh, yeah, in the last like 
probably about a year and a half, two years ago, I started there. Uh, I just started playing on 60 FPS full time. Just to see uh, what time improvements we can get. Yeah, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to do a thing called uh, crouch walking. This gives us a little, little bit of a speed boost. And here we're just going to grab this key. Specifically, we want to grab this key while we're standing. It's a quicker animation. If you if you grab that key there while in the crouch animation, it's the animation's like two or three seconds slower. It's a little, little time stage you can get here. So yeah, like I was saying, we're just gonna do this little crouch walking thing over and over. This gives you a little bit of a speed boost. Probably doesn't uh, really look like it, but if you're like used to the the regular, just like crouching or walking, you'll notice it's a uh, it's definitely quicker. So this guy here is called the the Sadist. It's a chainsaw wielding enemy. You'll see him uh, a few times in the game. I love that we can, you know, control the camera as we're running around. But yeah, uh, w w one thing as well you'll hear me refer to as the Haunted. That's the name of the regular enemies in this game. So yeah, keep that in mind because I'll be probably saying that a lot in the, in the run. So to my right when we drop down here is a ladder, so we're gonna specifically just like go to the to the right here. Just so we're closest to the ladder. Yeah, I think I should actually point out uh this this game is currently free at the moment on the Epic Game Store, so I recommend you guys uh check that out. It's also a uh, it's a, it's also a semi more optimized version of the game. It actually has a a first person mode. Uh, the FPS is adjusted. You know this this game has a bit of uh, FPS jumps and so on that just make the game not perform as good. But uh, yeah, that that version plus the Microsoft Store version. They, they are they are actually more of a yeah more optimized version of the game. But yeah, as you can see, the way we're just like limping here, whenever I'm doing like these commentary Where's runs, you know, I'm always reminding people. I promise you, the rest of the game is not like this. Because it's like really on rails. It's just completely scripted for the most part. The probably like the main action that we do in chapter one is um, is basically just throwing a bottle, just so we can distract the sadists getting away from us. So uh, specifically, if you're familiar with this game, you'll know that you know. The stuff that we use in this game to collect stuff or upgrade, you know, we use the, the green gel and so on. Uh, we collect keys for the lockers. Specifically for this run, uh, the route, we're going to specifically get six keys. This is to make sure we get the optimized amount, amount of gel because, you know, the, the loot is random. But there is actually a bit of consistency. Um... For whatever reason, the game is programmed to always give you gel in the third and the sixth locker. So, um, we want to make sure we get uh, two lockers of gel. Just so we can get, you know, the quickest run. Let's see how we go here. So, you might be... You might be asking, why am I like waiting to go into the locker here for the last second before he pops into the room here? Uh, well, w w one thing to point out is that there is actually like a skip you can do here, but it, re it mostly requires you to take damage. 
And this is a Kumu, so we'll just die. We can't actually do the actual skip. Uh, but there is a little bit of a time save we can get if we do enter the locker lay here, in which we can leave the locker whenever we like. If you enter the locker like immediately when you enter this room, uh, the prompt to exit the locker will go away until a certain point. But if you enter the locker late, you can leave the locker whenever you want then. So to save like probably like two or three seconds, I uh, just wait. I always wait to enter the locker there. And then, yeah, we just get the, uh, the bottle here. And if we want to get by these boxes, we have to break them. Specifically, you need to aim the camera down there and just uh, just press that or one there. Because there is actually two boxes there you need to break. And if you if you just throw the bottle like while the camera is like in the middle of the screen, you won't break both of them and you're stuck there. So you want to like aim down and then uh, throw the bottle. So I just did a FPS switch here. Um, so this segment here, the Sadist chases after us up to this elevator. He's not supposed to get to you, you know, as long as you hold forward. It's a scripted event. As long as you hold forward, he shouldn't catch up to you. But, if you're playing on a Kuba mode where his animations are sped up, plus the higher frame rate, th th there's actually a chance he can actually catch up to you. <laughs> so, to get around that, we want to switch to 30 FPS. Pretty, uh, pretty high chance that happens as well. That's ba this is basically the, the gist of chapter one. <clears throat> Thro throughout this run, you'll see, you'll, I'll be explaining a lot of technical stuff with this game and, you know, the nuances with it. Darkness twisting me. Here we have an unskippable intro. There is nothing I can do. And this world doesn't spin. It just turns itself. Oh. Yeah, by the way, guys, if you, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them, you know? I like I like questions, because I, I always forget. I always like to point out that I always forget something to talk about, so... <laughs> uh, so, our Xbox players stuck uh, praying uh, so he doesn't catch them. Uh, so, so, the thing is, you can... Um, Oh, only the PC version you can play in 60 FPS in this game. All the console versions are a unstable 30 FPS, so he'll he'll never catch up to you on console. Okay, it's kind of funny that Sebastian has infinite stamina right now, and then we get to you know. Now the actual game begins, you know, we have like a health bar now, we have our stamina bar. No. Okay, so you can't uh, sprint to this part, you're, you're in sort of a scripted stay here as well, it's not as bad as chapter one, but yeah. So the first thing we'll do is just crouch here and then we're gonna melee. This is actually quicker than just walking to the door. Hello? Anybody there? We're gonna do this actually the whole way here up to the upgrade chair. Are we awake? Is everyone else all right? The city. Whatever are you talking about? You are the only soul here. Here we have Nurse Tatiana. She's a bit of a troll, but I promise you, she you know she she just wants to help us. This place <laughs> is necessary for you. You're always welcome here. I've been hospitalized. I'm afraid okay, so the actual progress of the game here, we need to click on this save thing twice here. Please, so I'm we need here. to hold in for the prompt and then actually click on the there saves there. No way to ensure your future memories. If you want Tatiana to move here and open this door for us. It smells like medicine. Okay. 
see him swing. Spot the duel here for me. Okay. All right, now we just wait here. You are all right. <clears throat> Please relax. Please have a seat. So yeah, throughout this run, I'll be doing my best to like explain everything that I'm doing and the strat for each section of the game. Uh, this, this is a very the the force game is very linear, so it's like set piece areas. So kind of like perfect design for me to you know explain each area and how we want to go about it. You see, all better. And even with that, it's still very easy for things to go wrong and for me to die. So. So coming out of here, we have a heal here. Shit. Now it is a cool move. So obviously, like, why am I healing here? Well, we can't sprint at the moment, so where am I? This will be the only heal that we want Give to me. use in the whole run, just so we can start sprinting. And your Not default late. stamina in this game is that you can only sprint for three seconds. Thanks, that Tango. They want to uh, make our journey as, you know, rough as possible. Yeah, so this is a new game, a Kuba run with no fighting chance pack. I, I, I like to do this run as like a showcase because I feel that it's more the authentic uh, version of the game. Nice Resident Evil reference here. Yeah, but by the way, guys, I just want to thank you all for, you know, being here and watching this run at this time. It's very late, so. Thanks for uh, GDQ for allowing me to come back and do this run again. Were you warning me I believe this, this is the fifth time we've been on here. You were Leslie. On, uh, speed runs from the crypt. Officer. Maybe I should help you. Should help you. We've done uh, even with him one, two, two times Tell each. I believe. Hospital. 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 And Hospital. E e even with that, uh, what the fuck? You know, things were actually very different when I from when I did my first run here because. In in like the last two years, this this game has gone through like such a big. Uh, change in terms of like new tech in the game being discovered, new strategies and all that, new new skips and all that. So the run is just completely different than than the way it was in 2021, or even like just before 2021. All right. So we just picked up a match there. The matches are one of the most strongest thing in the whole game, really. Um. So the matches you use to burn enemies, uh, if you play Resident Evil 1 Remake, you'll probably recognize, like, you know, you can burn the zombies in that game to prevent them to turn into a Crimson Head. Um, so, sort of the same, uh, you, know, you know, idea, but it's not the same concept. Uh, you're not really preventing enemies from coming back because they don't come back in this game. The matches are used for strategic purposes. So, you know, if there's a group of enemies together, you can burn them all together in one match, and so on. Alright, so here we'll get our first key out of six. And here's our fir first difficult section of the game, the Chapter 2 Village. So at the very beginning here, there's going to be two haunted here. We're going to just basically ignore them and run past them. Um, if we're lucky, they won't follow us all the way. But if they do, more than likely they'll just... Um, there's a big giant like haystack that we're gonna burn. Not the one right in front of me, but <laughs> there's one, there's another one coming up here. And if they if they do manage to follow me the whole way, which a lot of times they don't, uh, most likely they should just. Uh... Also, I gotta be careful of this guy with the torch. He can be he can be dangerous. 
Hey. Right. So, uh, Abdo, just watch out. He's haunted. Alright, nice. Very good. So, this is actually a pretty okay RNG we have here. So, two more hunted here. We're gonna bait these guys into the bear traps. It's just, we just gotta see how quickly they're gonna run to me. Okay. Yeah, I just gotta watch the, uh, you know, what they're gonna do. I think what I'm gonna do is just wave this guy. Alright. <laughs> There's another haunted incoming, so I'm gonna let him run into this bear trap. This is actually all unintended, what I'm doing right here. Um, let me see, I'm trying to think, is there any extra matches I can get here? I think I'll actually... I think we should be fine. Let's see what happens. Alright. I'm, I'm actually thinking of... Uh, Oh, no, no, yeah, there's actually extra matches I can get at the beginning, never mind. So, I, I need three matches uh, at the beginning of Chapter 3, because there's a skip incoming. And I'm pretty sure there's actually matches at the beginning, so I can do it. I just have to waste a little bit of time. But, uh, yeah, ch Chapter 2 didn't go exactly how I wanted that to go, but... So basically, I was just like doing whatever I can as a backup while trying not to waste uh, so many resources. Shit. Better get out of here. Okay, and that's chapter two. So at the beginning, at the end there, before I was turning the uh, the crank, I if you stand at a certain, there's four haunted lying on the ground. Uh, three of them are like close together. If you stand at the right spot, you can burn all three of them together. And then they just stealth kill the fourth guy. Uh, so if you play this game, you'll know there's a character in this game called Jimenez. We're about to meet me Jimenez here, but there's actually a skip we can do in this in this chapter here to, to skip the interaction with him. And uh, this this skip, if you do the skip like in the fastest possible RNG or whatever, it saves about a minute of time. So, uh, let's just go up here. This is a, uh, this is a newer skip as well. It's about, I think, I think the skip's good, like, about maybe a year old now, I'm not even sure. It might be less than a year. Shit. Let me see here. I think, uh, there's not matches here. It might be inside the house. I think what I'm thinking of, uh... More than common that there's uh, matches in here. There's gel here. Aha, they're over here. Okay. Right. Yeah, we're... On Akumu, the, the, the Sarm of the Bombs is, um... The little, like, blue sp spot that you click on is, like, really small on Akumu, so... We actually don't disarm any of them. Alright. So I just born three haunted there. Uh, th this whole chapter is like all connected, and there's like a checkpoint that's connected with how many haunted you kill, and that's why we kill them because we need a checkpoint here to trigger. So what we're gonna do here now is gonna drag this into here, all right? We're gonna jump over here, trigger this checkpoint, and now I need to uh, kill myself. Now I need to unalive Sebastian. I was actually trying to dive from the trap there. Um, so wh where I just jumped over that fence there, um, the game, you're you're usually not allowed to progress to that part of the game yet before you talk to Jimenez. Uh, but now the game thinks we did. So I, 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 you know, I killed myself on purpose just so we, uh, we triggered the checkpoint. And the checkpoint now brings us to where we progress to now because the game thinks you know the game the game now thinks we've talked to Jimenez we've tr triggered the checkpoint and now we go right to the sadist here all right so for the sadist fight we're going to go right here grab the ammo we're going to use two axes 
And now we're just gonna unload these hangle bullets into the status. Okay. So if you play this game, you, you, you will know there are a lot of enemies in uh, the village here. In Chapter 3, especially on higher difficulty, there's a Rubik clone and so on. This is the antagonist of the game, by the way. For those, if you're new to this game, that guy right there is called Ruvik. He's the, this. you know, the big bad guy. Um. Okay. So once you kill the Sadist, and uh, all the the rest of the enemies uh, die with him. So like you you kill him, and all the hunters just just die with him at the same time. So. So that's why we go right for the sadist when, once we get here. Uh, it takes... Uh, for what we're doing specifically, uh, we use two axes and eight handgun bullets. And you might be asking, uh, why was I specifically shooting the sadist? You know... Well, like, why was I not shooting him in the head, for example? You'll 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 know this game uh, and its aim is very inconsistent. So, the last thing you want to be doing is uh, you know trying to get all headshots. Also, here's a nice little glitch that happens here when you, because we did the skip here, the game like glitches out this gate here. This this gate's supposed to be like down at the moment, but the game like for whatever reason it's the opposite way around. So uh, we can just like Wait, run through and trigger this cutscene. Wait, uh, officer. This, this gate's supposed to be open for us right now, so Detective. Jimenez Castellanos. can just walk through the gate here. Should be just ahead. It is imperative that we find All right. <laughs> it's kind of funny, if you look carefully there, like, you can see Sebastian actually can't just walk through it, like, there's still collision for Sebastian. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, chapter three. I... I wish I was a bit more prepared to explain the, uh, the skip, but I hope you guys got the gist of it. There's a lot going on. <laughs> there's a lot going on because there's a lot happening yes. like beforehand. There's a lot of setup for it, you know. He'd come here thinking it was and it's it's especially hard to explain if you've you know never played are. this game as well. Because like you'll be wondering like what, you know, how does it save time or that kind of thing. Alright, like so this is a walk and talk segment, so that's why I'm like meleeing here, it's way faster. I'm gonna grab this axe here. What's wrong with this kid? Okay. So I'm just gonna skip the segment with Leslie there. here. Uh, so Leslie is a character in this game that you're kind of uh, going to rescue but not really because it's more the the main character you're playing as Sebastian he's more wondering who he who Leslie is so it's kind of uh, the you know this, this game has a lot of similarities to Resident Evil 4 so Leslie's sort of the Ashley character anyway we're about to run into the invisible oh, haunted Menace, here uh, now this this haunted can't actually grab me here if I don't find this right. All right, let's do that. There we go. This place is a death. The timing of that is a bit, little bit tight, but it's more, it's more just getting reps into this game. If you've played this game enough times, you'll know the timing of how to axe them and then. Get out. Yeah, we must be. Going that's the first. This way. The, the, there's a few. Uh, there's Can't a couple of away. invisible haunts in this away. game. Uh, thankfully, they don't show up much. They show up like here, uh, and then at the, be the beginning of the next chapter, and um, then I the think uh, you don't see them until chapter well, fourteen at the subway. Doctor. Right. Leslie. So once again, we can sprint, so we're gonna spam the Fine. melee. Specifically, I'm aiming and pressing triangle. It's like the best like way of doing this. And uh, so, remember that skip, by the way, we just did in chapter 3? Because we're actually gonna do that skip what again in chapter 10. It's the, the skip, and this is the newest skip in the game as well. 
it's only a thing that's been done uh, since recently, the last few months. And I'm very curious because... Um, also, I didn't put my guns in my... Hold on. In my shortcut. Yeah, I'm very curious to see if I can do the skip quickly because it is a bit of... There is, like, some RNG to it. Um, so, I will either do the skip within, like, 10 seconds or it could take about 40 seconds. So, we'll, yeah, it's going to be fun when we get there. It's not for a while, though. Yeah, anyway, so there I was setting down an explosive bolt. Um, on higher difficulty, there's a lot of extra enemies in these sections. So there's a Rubik clone here. Uh, basically, I set down an explosive bolt so the Rubik clone will walk right onto it. Alright, he, he uh, got hit by it, but he didn't die. It only takes one hit to kill him, so... Still uh, good enough. Alright, we're gonna set down an electric bolt here to stagger the enemies. And now we'll just wait for the rest of them to get over here. And just burn them all together. Alright, and now I'm just making sure there's no more haunted left, so now I can just finish off. Here we go. And that's this section. There's a tripwire here, you can uh you can disarm these for trap parts, which are used to craft bolts for the Agony Crossbow. Is this a live run or archive? This is live. This is a live new game Akumu speed run. Oh boy, it's everybody's favorite. Here comes Laura. Alright, stay her over here so we can sprint here. See, so yeah, the skip we, again, the skip we did in chapter 3 requires you to take a death, so... If, if you guys want to count that as me actually dying, that's, that's totally up to you, but so far we haven't died what yet. So let's just see how far we can get, you know, before something eventually trolls me. That's, you know, th this game is, uh, this game and the hardest mode, you know, it's not, it's exactly what it says in the 10. And let me see, we have three matches. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I don't have to do this, but just for safety's sake, I'm going to just wait and just burn Laura here. Uh, you can actually just run here and you'll be fine usually. But there's like a tiny chance Laura can hit you while you're, you're stopped here. So I'm just going to make sure she doesn't get me. I made it. I can't believe it. Okay. Just managing my stamina here. There's Rubik. So every everything now is just on a timer. You don't there's nothing you can do like here or anything. You're just waiting to wait everything out. I think I'm full on ammo and all that. Ah. If you shoot Rubik he spawns like in front of you, so I was trying to like he kinda glitches out a little bit if you shoot him like near the last seconds. But uh, yeah, that's uh, chapter four. L nice little uh, Sun Until 2 reference here. You know the way uh, James Sunderland jumps down a hole into an asylum? And now look here. Sebastian, you know, falls down a thing that looks like kind of like a, you know, a hole and then falls into an asylum. Okay. So, uh, for, for all you guys that hate the Invisible Haunted, this one's for you. You might, you might be very uh, satisfied watching this. Someone wants me hospitalized. <laughs> so at the very beginning of this chapter, there's a Invisible Haunted. And we're just going to run up here and go right for Stealth Kill. Yep. So you can actually Stealth Kill this Force guy here. Uh, this only works if you 
immediately run up to him at the very beginning of the chapter. There's something wet Looks that like I, I, I don't down. know if it's that he's not. Uh, I'm gonna wait for this rat by the way. There's a rat with a key here. Right. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's like he's not loaded in yet, but I think it's like that is uh I'm just gonna yeah, flash you. There we go. This is another invisible haunted here. I, I could have actually I was trying to think what strat I wanted there's multiple strats I can do here. But I think I'll actually just get him and get his gel. Another haunted here. Just watch him. So our strat here is to use the doors. So I'm gonna purposely let him bang in the door. That will always make sure he gets staggered from the door then, so he can't grab me. So all we need to do here is get the car key and then leave. Um, <clears throat> my choices of strats to do here was to either I could have shotgun the first and um, visible haunted that I killed, and then I could have just ran around them and went for the car key, and then I could have flash bolted both of them together, and then just like ran out. But I was, you know what? I'll actually get the gel because we do need to get kind of like a good amount of extra gel. For chapter six. Hey. Okay. See, so I'm just wait here. So there's these uh, things on the walls we gotta click on. So we're gonna stand like at the sides just so we can like go right to the door. Alright. So uh when you first like enter the, the middle room here and you go right to the wall that's in front of you. You'll always end up at the same puzzle room, so I know which one it is. So if I just go from here from clockwise, uh, it'll always be the same order of puzzles. So I know the first two are on the left side. And then the third one will be on the right side. This is how I like to this is how I like I try to memorize it when I have to play, when you take a break take a break from the game. It just becomes like muscle memory for me then. There has been times where like I'll be streaming and I'll be like uh I'll be kind of like just talking to myself or just you know talking and then I'll kind of forget what I'm doing. And then and then I'll forget which puzzle room I'm in. I'm in and I'll be like, "Wait, which one is that?" I've got I've got my I've gotten myself killed doing that before. Alright, we're gonna get more gel here. So, uh, gel wise, um, obviously we're gonna upgrade our stamina. It's gonna be like the main thing that we upgrade. Alright, here we have uh, Joseph back as well. That's much better. A, uh, a, a fan favorite. People love Joseph. Okay. So, here, I just shot a harpoon bolt, a ch specifically a charged up. Uh, harpoon shot to the haunted there. Um, so if you shoot a charged up harpoon shot and shoot the haunted around their chest area or their stomach, this looks pretty. It uh, it kind of makes them like Why fling to a wall or something. Do you think we can get past it? And if you Stand do this like back. out of combat, they don't Let alert, so you don't enter combat. So and it keeps them like you know dazed for a while. So we, we just skipped that whole segment there. There's like, uh, there's like, I think about four or five haunted you gotta fight there. So if you do that correctly, I can just skip that segment there. Look, let's just get out of here. There's something wrong with this place. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually thinking, why don't why don't I have a uh, an extra explosive bolt? Did I forget one? I I, I believe I got the uh, the ones from the chest. It doesn't really matter too much, but yeah. Let's see as we go on here. Anyway, this is one of the toughest segments in the entire game here. The water tank fight here. Uh, this this part works in waves. The first wave, the first like segment of it, um, 
We've got to kill 10 hunted to finish the first phase. Uh, at the beginning here, we're going to immediately run down. If we run to the right spot here, right? we can get a yeah, free stealth kill on this hunted. So we go here, we can get a stealth kill. Now, depending on where these hunted walk to, because they're going after Joseph, I can burn the second guy. Alright, shoot those guys down. Right. So now it's all just trying to be as careful as possible because I've got to watch what the hunter to do him. And I want to save as much ammo as I can. Alright, this is actually going pretty good. Oh, that guy was trying to throw his axe at me. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to uh, go over here, make sure we're safe. Alright, Joseph's helping us out. That's the first phase. The second phase now is we get one dynamite guy here. And once this dynamite guy here dies here, it's going to trigger this sort of the middle phase of the, of the segment. We're going to wait for him to die. Okay. And now the next wave of enemies will spawn from this door. But if you stand at this door, you can actually uh, collision block them. So I'm just going to stand here. The door will block them. I'm going to axe them. Axe the next group of enemies. And there's another gun on my guy here. Alright. Sebastian, they're above us. Watch out. They've got dynamite. Okay. Light cover. They're shooting. Is that. Is that it? I think there's still something nearby. Let's see what happens here. Don't be a hero. There's Back four off. haunted here. Hopefully I can. Nice, I got all four of them, I think. Yes, I did. Very good. We're getting some uh, nice R RNG here. So now, now to finish the fight, we got just got to kill this last uh, Dynamite Haunted here. And we're done. And there's 1k gel up here, so I'm just going to make sure this guy doesn't get me. I think we should be fine. Yeah. And there you go. Once you hear this like Kid music here, help. you know the fight's over. And that's the uh that was close. Yeah, that's the war tank fight. You come have a look at this. So I'm just gonna shoot those boxes because there's a chance they'll drop uh trap parts for me. I think uh, we hit the shotgun ammo here as well. I can't get right. the thing open. To progress the game we need to click on Joseph here. We're running out of time. Where do these cables go? Yeah, if we, if we if we get like you know good RNG and all that, you'll hear the dialogue like overlapping and all that. <laughs> nice, nice. The game's being kind to us. We got some extra shotgun ammo. Uh, did I? I'm hoping for an axe here and just make this part a bit easier. Eh, uh, we, we'll be fine. Just go without it. I want I want it for this guy here. There's a guy here with a dynamite, so. Hopefully we're good there. Yeah, I usually like to axe that the hunted because he control you. Yeah. Alright, just watch him. So that might look scary there, that haunted that just ran around. Um that that haunted isn't designed to actually attack you. He is a dynamite haunted, kind of so right? yeah. he's he's like scripted to just like grab a dynamite. You know, and then set it off and then throw it at you or whatever, so. As long as you're quick enough, you have all the time to just run around them. Okay. Where'd they go? Okay, and here there's a very convenient torch for us here. Let's grab that. Another more hunter, we can just run around here. There's a, there's a good few times in this game what you can do what I just did there, where the hunters have to. They have to run to a certain spot before they, you know, start attacking you and all that, so... As long as you, uh, immediately grab the torch and just run, you'll... You'll be able to just run past them. Let's see, here we'll get some more trap parts. Okay. Another, just kill more haunted. We're gonna burn these two haunted. Uh, oh, Joseph is actually, uh, being useful, okay. 
I, I know it's I know it's scary to hear, but uh, Joseph is actually being useful. Okay. Um. So my original plan there was to use the torch and the guy on the left. Um. And then usually the other two haunted will go after Joseph, and I can usually just shock on them, uh, both down together, and then I burn them together, and that's it. But if Joseph uh, if Joseph it kills like that guy on the right, like the he did, side. or the guy on the left, or Maybe we can uh, no, the guy on the right, yeah. I will use the torch the on the the big on guy. All right. And then just uh, either use my shotgun or handgun on the last guy. And then finish off the fight. Let's get going. Yeah, so we were doing a practice run. Uh, I was streaming my, a practice run there before this, and it actually went pretty well. We I think it uh, helped me out, you know, with uh, muscle memory and all that. I'm glad you're both all right. It's odd, though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as okay. a threat. He. All right, so we're going to do another FPS change here. Uh, so you might remember the Laura boss fight incoming. Uh, in the area with the, the furnaces and so on. And there's like bodies that she spawns from. Um, on higher frame rate, we, we need one specific body to be in a very specific spot. And for whatever reason, on higher frame rate, the body tends to move to other areas. So, y usually if we set the frame rate to 30, it, the body will be where exactly I want it to be. In order to do this strap that I want to do for this fight. Also, that was some nice RNG there we got. Alright. So, we're going to keep the frame right here until uh, just before we get out of here. So, there's Laura again. Make sure I can get that key. Should be at a flame just so we can save a bit of time. And uh, we should be able to change the frame rate back to 60 now. Alright. See, so yeah, hopefully we can do the strat the first try. There's, there's a lot of time there's a lot of times this fire this, uh, it's very specific this strat we're gonna do. Um so the furnace in this fight here does about I think about 35% of our health um, and basically this strat will make it so we use the furnace twice on her where you can usually only do it once so this body here I want that to be there all right nice got it I have to uh, do these extra shots here all right yep yeah, there we go we got it very nice this, this usually doesn't happen. We uh, we just got her to burn twice in the furnace. Usually it's only once. But because of uh, specifically what we did there with the shots. Uh, there we go. And that's the lower fight. This, this strat's very nice because we don't really use like much resources at all. And it's uh, very fast. It's about... Uh, it's like a like a 30, 30 second fight or something. Okay. She was like a AK gel. Subjects case. Uh, but yeah, how how that strat is done is um. There's something with shooting Laura. And then shooting the lever somewhere around the same time. You can actually do it with the handgun as well. Like when she spawns out of out of a body, that's what I was talking about earlier with the frame rate thing. Um, the second she spawns out of the body, and she like she's able to like start moving. If you shoot her, and then shoot the lever around the same time, for whatever reason, it triggers this this. Uh, this thing with the furnace where she can burn twice in it. I have no idea why it works, but but it does. Just one of those uh, things that was just luckily 
discovered. The hell? Which it uh, wasn't discovered by me, it was discovered by a runner by the name of uh, Tenden. He did, he found a lot of stuff in this game in the last few years. A lot of the uh, glitches that you, you'll see and stuff. Nice, so you can't actually kill these guys here. So we're just uh, using the electric ball to stagger. We need to knock them on the ground and then go up them and press circle to do that like animation to them. And that's uh, chapter 5. And now here comes everybody's favorite Evil Within chapter, chapter 6. The cabin fight chapter. This is, uh, this chapter is very notorious with this game. Did they do something to my head? You don't look well. You should take better care of yourself. Okay. Photographs. Uh, See, so yeah, just to reiterate, uh, we are doing Akumu difficulty. Akumu is the hardest mode in the game. It is a one-hit kill dif difficulty. Any any damage you take in the game, you die. Besides a grab animation, you, you still do die in a grab. But Joseph needs to save you. So uh, yeah, if you run into a bear trap, you die. And an enemy flicks you, you die. All right. So here we're gonna open up uh, six lockers here. What was that sound? So uh, there's some. So the lockers are random, but when you first start opening the lockers, the third and the sixth locker is always gel. So this third one. I'm hoping these next two were some sort of bolts. If this is a flash bolt, that would be perfect. Gel. Okay, I'll take the extra gel then. I usually would probably actually just ignore this. Uh, if I got the if I got RNG gel, you know, between like between like the third or the sixth locker, I'd, I'd probably uh, for optimal time I should skip getting the sixth locker, you know, because I, I I only need two lockers of gel. Okay, so we get our stamina up to level 4, we're going to upgrade the flash bolts to 7 seconds, and uh, yeah, that's all we need. That's basically our main upgrades for the, uh, the run. Uh, just, just before the end of this chapter, we'll be getting level 5 stamina. We um, So we need 30k for level 5, we will get 5k gel from the sadist thing coming. And then we get another 7k gel from the, the two giants that you find. So that's uh, more than enough. So because we have the cabin fight incoming, we want to make sure we craft two flash bolts. For, you know, getting through the actual cabin fight um, for certain Pretty specific parts of it. Most of it, most of, most of all, we want to be not wasting resources on the cabin fight. Which, for the most part, we can just do with like we use like basically our handgun and the shotgun. Uh, my, my intention is to only use the flash bolts when we get down below. But as a an emergency, I will have my flashes Sebastian? ready in case I think they're gonna the Sebastian? hunters are gonna grab me or something. So I think the last two times that I did the Kuma run, I think we I think we've actually died at least once on the cabin point. So I hope I can break that curse this time, you know? <laughs> I'm I'm hoping I can, you know, break that now. Get, get a nice deathless cabin fight. Copium. Same place as the photographs. So at the very beginning of the cabin fight, it's gonna be two hunters. Uh, the one on the left is the one to watch out for. 
he can immediately throw an axe at you and kill you right at the beginning. Um, which you can actually avoid every time if you just walk forward. That's that's the best thing you want to do at the very beginning. Just walk forward. You'll avoid like like ninety nine percent of all anything that he does. Uh, and just watch out for when he's trying to grab you. So you walk forward and then you just like sprint to the right when he's about to grab you. Right, so just walk forward, he's throwing the axe, look, you'll always avoid that axe if you just walk forward. Okay. Oh, so here we're just gonna wait for this hunt here to spawn. Gonna do a charged up harpoon shot. He didn't actually yeet away. She did though, that's good. So the cabin fight here is a time segment, the whole thing. It's a three minute long uh, time segment. And as long as we don't kill any of these three haunted now, no more will spawn. So we're just gonna kite these haunted now. Now we gotta be careful because even if you know exactly how the haunted work, they still can't get you. They can, uh, they can intentionally just like run exactly where you're about to run it and you know corny it or whatever or get like a lucky melee hit or something so i'm gonna try to be as careful as i can hopefully i don't have to use an extra flash bolt so i would like to save the trap parts you can kind of see there they're a little bit boxing me in okay so that's the first phase now if we're quick enough we can yeah Joseph actually stops there midway if you're not quick enough. So if you're if you're jumping down with him quick enough, you'll 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 make him immediately go for the door and save a bit of time. Uh oh. All right. Nice. This is very good. We're we're getting some nice RNG here. Oh boy. Okay. I think she got flashed as well. I hope she did. Oh, right. Very good. So, like I explained on the, the top floor, as long as you don't kill a certain amount of the haunted, no more will spawn. If you. It, here, at this point now, uh, we're allowed to kill the, the big guy and the. The female hunted. It's always the same, like, um, you know, there's always like these two hunted here, and there's always a girl hunted, there's always a big hunted. At this point here, you're allowed to kill the girl and the, the big hunted, no more will spawn. But if I kill any of these hunted, it'll trigger the next set of hunted, in which it's like literally like 10 more at once. So uh, yeah, it's a time segment, so all we just gotta do is time it out and we're good to go. We're just gonna be careful. Just watch where they're running to, hopefully they don't troll me. I have I have had them kill me before, like right at the right at the ending. Sebastian, let's go. Alright, very like good. We, we do have a skipping coming by the way. So you'll probably remember the the cages you got to shoot down here. Let's be careful. It could be fun. So here I'm gonna walk up here. All right, grab this sniper ammo. All right, flash these. All right, I'm gonna shoot him actually. Get to cover. Right. They're shooting from above. Do that. I'm gonna flash at a very specific specific spot there. All right, I'm gonna. Snipe this guy. Nice, we got all of them. Cool. I gotta be careful here. Oh boy, this is gonna be uh, risky. I didn't want this to happen, but let's just see what happens. Alright. Let's do that. This is actually unintentional, but. I think I'm good because I got extra explosive bolts. I usually will be able to fight this guy without him chasing me like this, but I'm just gonna wait for my stamina to regen. Try 
try not miss so many shots. Uh, you know what I'm gonna try do is see if I can craft a flash bolt. If I can do that, we're good to go. Alright. Um I think we should be good to just stab him. Right, messy say this fight, but hey, we did die. I'll take it. My intention for this fight was to see, see the the haunted here got to me very quickly, so I couldn't do this like as quickly as I wanted. Uh, so I had the extra. I was getting ready to like snipe this haunted that popped down here, and like it just got all messy, so I had to like adjust to that. Right, so just get these and get out. Thankfully, we did get, get some. Um, the elevator is stopped at the top. We 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 got some explosive balls from the lockers, so I could actually uh, use that there, and it doesn't affect me. Uh, but uh, yeah, we also just did a skip there as well, which like you probably didn't even know was happening with everything going on there, but. Usually you have to shoot down four cages to progress the area. But there's actually a spot that you can uh, you can shoot out with the flash bolts. And it actually knocks down two cages together. And if you do it right, you can actually like um, get rid of all the cages in one spot like we just did. Is this glitchless? No, okay? we've already used a few glitches. I don't glitches. like that they used her as bait. Almost like someone's toying with us. Okay. Hang in there. Just a little further. So we put an explosive bolt on Joseph there. Very intentional use coming up. And there we go. <laughs> there are two haunted... Dragging Joseph there to his death. You okay? So to save time, we just put an explosive bolt Don't there. <laughs> we have two shotgun ammo. Uh, I do have uh, I I feel like having seven sniper rounds is actually like way more than what I usually have at this point. All right. Go. You should have just let them. Huh? <laughs> Cover me. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Obviously, the devs intended for me to do this, right? The devs want me to do this. So, we'll just say there's a board here, you know? Why not, why not just block them? Why not just body block them? So, this is a time segment, so... We don't need to actually kill the uh, the hunter here, so we can just stand here, block them, and, and just chill out. All right. Hurry this way. <clears throat> See, you probably asked them, "Why aren't they attacking me? Why aren't they like going after me?" Well, Joseph is turning the crank there for us to get through, so. They're designed to go after Joseph, Joseph to stop him from right. turning the crank. So I, as long as we don't attack them, I, they don't attack me. Yeah. And you know, it's like I killed the first guy. You have to. He's the only one that does attack you. You have to kill the first guy. So when you start off, you just want to kill him as quickly as this possible, like and then just block the others. It looks deserted, just like everywhere else. We gotta keep moving. Just gonna disarm this. So there's two trap parts we can get here. What's that? Uh, health. We don't need that. Get 
that uh, trap parts. I, I actually haven't even. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, we have actually way. I know, yeah, I remember we have way more than enough gel than I actually need to collect. So let's just go ahead here. There was one, one K gel there that I usually get as a an emergency if I need it. Do, I need, do, you, do you need to sp stand in that exact place? Like, um, like basically, yeah, at the top of the uh, the board there because well, like when? Uh, this architecture seems there's like a guy with a dynamite the there ages. throwing the dynamites. He'll yeah, like throw at a certain spot and blow elevators. you up, or the guy does a guy throwing this an axe as well. Be real. It's like so the, jumbled up the spot where I was standing is the optimal spot where you're completely safe. Okay, more uh, meleeing into this little scene here. I'm counting on you. So incoming here, there is a bunch of haunted and just like war coming up here, and there's also a sniper that actually um hold on a minute. Let me climb. Has up a pretty high chance of actually ahead. killing me here. Uh, I believe as long as I'm I'm fast here. And I do these this, uh, melee to go faster. I should be usually fine. Find cover. You have to do two of these into this scene here. Once you activate this scene here, you're completely safe. <laughs> nice. So I'm gonna use the shotgun to get rid of these guys. Get this explosive bolt. I'm gonna just use a flash to be safe. Okay. That should lead you out near the path to the church. Keep going, I'll cover you. Oh no. Let's start off by using a shotgun and a sniper shot. So there's two of these little that these giants that we gotta fight. If you immediately run to here, they'll both go for Joseph now. So we can just uh, sneak attack them. And just do this. Right, that, that, that'll actually kill me. He threw like his hammer at me there, so... Okay. So yeah, we just... Uh, explosive bolts, uh, two or three grenades, depending. Let's meet up by the horse statue there. This way. S sometimes they, in a very extremely rare occasion, uh, w one of them won't uh, like stay at that spot, and they'll come for me more, which will like make the fight long. It won't, you know, end as quickly as it just did. Uh, also, we have another uh, horse in that house glitch there. that we're gonna do. Let me to... see what I wrote speed up certain animations uh this is a this is another glitch that was discovered in the last like two years that really has helped help this run be, uh, be quicker I guess we go um down. i guess so so you can speed up animation this game with the the reload animation of a handgun or the magnum in which if you like so if you like stand near something like a, a valve or a crank or something. And then if you press the... While you're standing still, if you press the reload button and then immediately spam X or the interaction button. For some reason, you speed up that animation then. Uh, you, won't, you won't actually really see it in happen here because we're going to be like turning a, a lever and turning this lever activates a cutscene so because we're speeding up the animation the you know you won't actually see sebastian turn in the crank are you all right but you will be able to see it in, in the next chapter which is soon so you'll see you'll see uh you'll see how cool it is in chapter you seven there are a lot of cranks and valves that you gotta turn so and you, you uh at the one thing we want to be making sure is to obviously have um, to use one bullet because we need to be at the reload. So 
we really got to be thinking like how much ammo we want and all that. So we go here, we over here stop, right? So you can see I was like reloading there. Now this scene here doesn't activate until Sebastian has turned the crank all the way. So because we did the glitch, we turned it instantly. And this also uh, quickens up this segment as well, doing this glitch. To solve this puzzle, you literally just gotta turn these three Doesn't cranks once each in any order you like. Hold on a second, I jotted something down. It's kinda weird. Alright, there we go. I heard something. Yeah, we want Joseph to say I heard something. That will that usually will trigger him to run to here. Uh, it's it's important that we make him run to here, this spot here. There we go. Because usually he doesn't do that. If you if Joseph says like this dialogue, like I, I heard something, and you're, it's at a different point where we haven't done the glitch, or we didn't solve the puzzle quick enough. Uh, Joseph will walk to the to the elevator here very slowly, and you lose a lot of time. So there's like a lot of like uh, a lot going on on at once there. Okay. Incoming here is a boss fight. Uh, one of the most likely spots where I'll die at the this dog fight, which is called the, the Sentinel. Now, usually it's actually can, it can be pretty easy. The the thing with this with this fight is that the dog is very trolly with its movements and all that. Uh, the dog tends to like jump around and you know starts moving around in a very weird way and he usually does this when you're actually shooting him so you get it open? and he lunged at you and so on uh so i i put a bolt on joseph's leg there that's gonna blow up once the once the game gameplay begins here and this is gonna prevent the boss from all right so it goes off this will initiate some sort of stagger to the boss so he can't lunge at me at the beginning so I have a bit of time here, beginning to uh, set it down there to stagger him. I'm gonna wait. All right. All right, and there we go. That's the sentinel fight. Very good. Even with that, it still can be a very uh, tricky fight to do. Still can't kill me here. You can, <laughs> you can. Uh, hey, if he here. if he just decides to do so, he can be like, you know what? I'm just gonna ruin your day. All right, Hurry back shrunk. before that thing finds you. I'm sorry. So uh, yeah, it's not just um, about being unable to see. It's about besides the normal. It's all right. Besides the sadist fight, not going the way I wanted to. Pretty good chapter six. Pretty uh, good chapter six, if I Jeez, say so myself. Joseph, all that for a pair of glasses. <laughs> it's, uh, ch chapter six is usually the chapter that's considered like the hardest. I would say the top three chapters is probably chapter 6, chapter 10, and ch chapter 11. They're usually the, you know, the go-tos. Where people be like, oh no, not this Nothing chapter. <laughs> oh no, not, not this segment. Can you? Can you? <laughs> <laughs> here, we're just waiting. You get a little bit of a time save here. There's a bit of dialogue that pops up here, which uh, for some reason, if you press circle, it skips this dialogue and we can activate the cutscene quicker. Hey, Joseph. So yeah, I'm like, at that moment there, I'm like spamming X and circle together. Just so I immediately uh, cancel out the dialogue and activate the cutscene. And then I can just like skip through the, the cutscene as well. Not this part, not this segment. 
So like I was saying before with the uh, the handgun glitching coming, it's a big part of this chapter. I better start searching for my Which is partners. actually very nice because it's not really like this is a very relaxed chapter. There's not much too much going on. Well it's a nice chapter to show off the, the glitch anyway. Okay, so run by this guy. Once you click on this this uh, wall here or whatever stone like lithograph thing and it, uh, it freezes all the enemies here until you get out of this just gonna watch what they're doing i don't want to shoot them right away because we have to wait for that for that thing to go up i'm just gonna watch what he's doing all right we should be good i think this is a possible glitch here where there's a possible soft lock running down these stairs here all right, it didn't happen. Good. Oh shit! Yeah, right, just made it. I was intending to shoot that lock. It fits. We intentionally shoot it because I need to be able to reload for the glitch incoming, the handgun glitch. So, like I was explaining before, to trigger this glitch, we need to be standing still. And then we, pre we press the reload and immediately spam uh, X. So we get to the crank, reload. And look at that. See, see how quickly we turn the crank? Right, we're gonna shoot again so we can reload. So it just completely skips the, the animation. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, if you if you've played this game, you'll know the some of the crank turns are very very slow. Uh, for optimal time, we actually don't turn the crank on every one as well. I think actually it might be only this one that we don't do it on. So behind me right now, there's like three trap parts, yeah. So we don't actually use the glitch in this crank because it's actually slower to do that because we have an axe equipped right now. So we gotta, I, I have to like unequip it. And then I gotta like, you know, take the gun out to reload it. Right, so we do it there though. So we just skip, totally just skip that crank turn animation. So it's actually faster to not do the glitch on that first one there. And uh, we use the axe on that. So these guys here are called the Alter Egos. Right. Uh, you can do the handgun glitch on these cranks. But these like cranks work in like increments. Where you can see them like... You see the way you're, you're turning and then they stop and then it turns and then it stops. It'll only do it for the first turn, so... And even with that, it doesn't even save time. You still gotta... Sebastian still has to do the first animation, so... Sadly, it doesn't save time. I really do wish it did work on these cranks, because they are the slowest in the game as well. It really would be nice because we save a lot of time. There's a good few of these in the game as well. So, uh, and uh, yeah, if you guys are wondering about like upgrades in this, uh, for, for this run, we actually don't like upgrade like any of the base weapons, you know. Uh, there's no need to upgrade the handgun or the shotgun as a sniper or anything. Uh, weapon wise, the main thing we upgrade is the magnum. And that's like just for the mostly for the damage and the capacity and I I, I kind of choose if I want to upgrade the accuracy for the just to make sure I don't miss a certain just shot or whatever or at least try and help because you'll know if you've played this game that it's, you know the bullets um, tend to go like anywhere within a, the reticle in this game the game likes to troll with the the aiming Alright, nice, so let's shoot those two. Nice, right, so coming up, we uh, crack the bolt here. 
So there's another alter ego here. Um, see, so see the way I just walked up him and I stomped on him. Um, for, for some reason, if they're like lying on the ground, and you go up them and press triangle, it does like a stomp animation, and it's actually an insta kill as well, which is pretty amazing. Because there's actually a good few times where they're on the ground, you can just run up and stomp them. So here we just set a electric bolt here. I also grabbed an axe that we're going to use. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna use the charged up harpoon shot. The harpoon just got in the wall. This guy's actually not dead, by the way. He's like. The harpoon makes them like ragdoll for a few seconds. So he's actually like about to get, get up here, but we have mo way more than enough time to, to just go to here and escape. And that's like the. The sort of like mini puzzle segments here. So we bring this axe with us all the way here for this, uh, for the beginning of this keeper fight. You're about to see the the power of the the axe incoming. Also, by the way, if you want to never die at this part, keep in mind that you don't actually need to sprint here. Uh, so when you're running away from these little trap things, they only go down fast if you sprint. But if you walk slowly, they drop down slowly as well. So, so you can see I'm like slowly walking here. See how slowly they're going down? Like I'm not sprinting at all. So you can do this the whole way here and just take your time. Kind of funny that it works that way. Oh, hello, Mr. Keeper. Goodbye, Mr. Keeper. That's the, that's the power of the axe of one hit kills him. Alright, so we're yeah, doing that. This a, will we get to skip here? Oh, no, no, no. S see this coughing animation? You can uh, kind of skip that animation by spamming the melee button, but it didn't work this time. We call it just the cough skip. If, whenever that scene is happening there, I'm like spamming uh, the melee button. Because there's a chance that it'll skip that coughing animation. And you'll save like three, three or four seconds. Alright, so there's a few cranks we use here. So you stand still, reload, and just spam. And uh, yeah, instant crank turning. Yeah, I absolutely love the soundtrack here. Oh, Sebastian's not reloading. Okay. Alright, harpoon. Switch over. Okay. I'm gonna actually get this ammo. Right. And let's see if we wanna actually yeah, I need to shoot a bullet there. So the keeper destroys us cranking us so we can't escape, so we gotta find the We gotta find a replacement. There's another harpoon we can get here. There's the replacement valve here. Alright. Alright, so we just wait for him to freeze him here. So, so the thing is here, to, to, to do the glitch again, we actually gotta like click on this, you know? But it's still actually quicker to exit out of this and then do the glitch, rather than just turning it. It's still like even way faster. Uh, that's like, uh, I think that's like the longest crank turn out of, out of them all in the area, so... Yeah, even though you're like putting on the, the valve and all that, it's still quicker to do the, the glitch. I 
and that's the uh, keeper segment. Can you guys believe this game is 9 years old now? 9 years ago this month this game came out. Finally. Doesn't feel real, man. So long ago it seems uh it's out now. Okay. A little melee down there to save a bit of time instead of climbing down the ladder. Alright, on to chapter A. So this is the shortest chapter in the game. As long as nothing goes wrong, it'll take us just under five minutes to complete. So at the very beginning here, we're going to just immediately... Uh, just run up here, shoot the board here, and just sprint. Those enemies can't uh, break through the boards, so... If we specifically shoot the board on the ground... Uh, yeah, we're good to go. I'm gonna actually reload and get the ammo. Okay. Sorry, chat. No, no, no glitch for these long ass cranks. J j just imagine the time save we could have had. You know, we got instant crank burning for for this. <laughs> oh man. The time saves we've lost won't stop hurting. You feel it too, don't you? Alright, so there's a bunch of harpoons going off here. Wait for them. We are currently uh, deathless at the moment, I think. Uh, now, when I say that, there is a, a forced death we do for a skip in Chapter 3, so if you want to count that as a death, that's up to you. <laughs> There's a skip in Chapter 3 that requires us to, uh, for, for us to die. Other than that, I think we're deathless so far. Okay. Now, when I say that, there's actually a possibility I might die here. But uh, as long as I'm quick enough, we shouldn't die. I think I, I could actually, I could make sure I don't die here though. I think I'm actually going to do that. I, it requires me to use an extra flash ball, but I, th I think I'll just do it just in case. Because I'm thinking of it now, you know. Alright, yeah, th these guys can kill me here. But as long as I'm quick enough, they won't actually get me. Also, I got to... Watch what this is happening here. Alright, just went by. Okay. Yeah, there's like a bunch of like baby alter egos there that I just used the flash bolt at. Uh, as, as long as I as long as I haven't slowed down or stopped moving and just kept sprinting, they they usually won't kill you. But like wasting any time then they will. So I was like, like I was just thinking there. You know what? I'll just use the flash. <laughs> but uh, yeah, regardless, um, wh whatever happens from here, I will be very happy with this run. We, uh, I was purely expecting uh, the cabin fire or something to get me. So. I'm actually just extremely happy with how this is going so far. Alright, incoming here is another thing with this game not being optimized and another FPS change. Uh, so we're about to be chased here by the Amalgam Alpha. Uh, the Amalgam Alpha can knock a... See the cart there on the right? In the hallway there? Yeah. The Amalgam Alpha can knock this cart in front of you and collision block you and get you killed. 
uh, on how higher frame rate. So to prevent that from happening, we just lower the frame rate to 30. I don't know. I don't want to restart the chapter. Right. Once we get once he gets past the uh, the cart, we can just uh, go back and switch to 60 again. This is actually something that happens to people playing the game casually on PC as well. I've, I've seen a lot of people complain about this part, getting them killed over and over. The, the cart just keeps getting knocked in front of them. And it just uh, blocks them. Detective Castellanos? Was that... someone else's memories? Yeah, we changed to 30, not to get blocked by the, the you cards. You moaning in your sleep. Have a bad dream? <sighs> okay. Why did we run this game more than 60 FPS? Uh, in, or in order to do that, you need to like do that outside of the game. The game's only intended to run at 60. So you need to like use like a program or something to unlock the frame rate more. And uh, because of the optimization of this game, um, the higher frame rate the game is, and when you're playing on a Kumu. The animation of the enemies are more exaggerated, so... The harder the frame rate, the harder you are making the game on yourself, so... Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this, this game actually just looks and feels so good at 60, so... Hey, mansion, mansion segment time. Pure, uh, if there was ever a Resident Evil reference. Wait, I've seen that house. How much uh, gel do I have? I have way more than enough. I've never been here before, but... There's Jimenez, there's Leslie. How did they get here? Okay. Uh, so if you play this game, you know Rubik chased you in this mansion. He pops up hey, every once in a while. Stop, once you see the chapter screen pop up here, see the way it says chapter 9 there? Now what? A timer begins now. And roughly in about a minute and 50 seconds to about two minutes, Rubik will spawn. Somewhere around between that time. What so do we have here? what we want to do to get the most optimal time is to immediately run to here. Yeah, immediately go here, go to here, solve this puzzle, and then we're gonna go upstairs to the library area. And like, we basically just wanna get as much progress done as possible before he spawns in. I'm just gonna go up here, I'm just gonna immediately go here, run here. It's gonna be a hunt that's gonna spawn behind this door. But we're just gonna run behind him and stealth kill him. And uh, the hunt of spawning in this uh, mansion is random, right? So we're getting the extra spawns here. It's it's random if these hunters are, are spawned in or not. So if they spawn in, I freeze bolt the first one and then just like shoot and burn that one. Okay, we'll snipe this sleeping haunted. So now what we want to do is we want to get into the next puzzle room, which is in the parents' room behind the fireplace. Uh, we want to do this before Rubik spawns in because when Rubik spawns in, he actually blocks up the fireplace. 
And speedrun wise, this is about a 30 plus second time loss. So you don't want that to happen. Okay, it's also really bad when you get bad RNG with the shots as well. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. Come on, Rubik. So if he does spawn in, uh, face the strat is just to walk around with him. If you want to cheese Rubik here, just uh, face the camera behind you like this. He can never spawn in front of you now. He's like, he's sort of like camera based, so... As long as you have the camera faced on him behind you like this, he'll never like uh, spawn in front of you. And you can just like circle around here over and over. Also, this is his animation speed on uh, Akubu. <laughs> All right. So now he won't spawn for like, I think like four to five minutes or something. It's you, you have like such a long time on the second time. And he spawns in. <laughs> Again. Okay. Monka S. Yeah, check number twelve. And it's this over here. <laughs> Gotta get those steps in. <laughs> I, I was actually uh I really want them to spawn in after this because I really want to show off the strat for avoiding them as he's chasing them. Because, like, the intended thing is that he spawns in once we kick up, kick this door open. And basically, he will, you know, we run around in progress as he's chasing us. And it just looks cooler as the speed run. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're not getting that today, apparently. So I'd be like running here, Rubik will be teleporting around. I'd be going in here, it'd be I'll have to wait in here like a few seconds. Cause I have to because he'll be up behind this door waiting for me. But uh yeah. We won't see uh, Rubik again because we're just about done. I think um yeah, I'll just actually just grab this sniper ammo here. Hello haunted. Bye haunted. We, we just ignore her. I guess I'll grab this ammo now. Yeah, so just grab all this now. Alright, so the combination for this is 11 and 2. It's a very, very simple puzzle. You just gotta... There's uh, two pictures that you gotta look at. And it's just the number of people on the pictures. Very, very uh, simple stuff. Okay, we just move this up to here. So on the way back here, there is more RNG uh, haunted that can spawn in. The they might not actually be there, uh, but if they are here, there, there is actually a chance that they can like force through the stores and running up to them. I don't want them to do that because uh, right there they are here. Okay, just gonna flash. Save that. That guy is a gun, so you want to uh, definitely use a flash there once you kick the door open. The the gun hunted are pretty scary to deal with, and that's the mansion segment. Slice clean all the way. No cure for what I'm going to do to you. There's Rubik as a child. Skin. He's like dissecting a, 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 a pig head. <laughs> Rubik? This is what he was doing as a, as a child. <laughs> so, uh... So, we're, we're inside a machine. Think of like Total Recall or something, you know? Ru Ru Rubik is the... Is the uh, He's the core of the st of the uh, of the stem. It's called, and that's like you know we were we were brought into this world at the beginning of the game. Uh, the origins of of this whole thing being a thing 
is uh, Ruvik's sister. She was uh, killed in a barn fire. And basically, Ruvik creates the stem to try and, you know, reunite with his sister. That's that's why stem is a thing in the first place. Hey, so here's a funny little thing here. See all these trip wires here? If you trigger them, it brings down these uh, wires here. So watch this. Uh, look at the uh, the trip at the bottom here. You can see it's like not finished. We can just like walk past it here. I don't know if the the devs intended this, but it uh yeah, it, it's a nice uh, time save for speed running. We can literally just uh crouch through there and just go by there because the the tripwire is not attached to the wall no idea why but hey i'm not complaining it's a nice time save all right just gonna bite him okay I should have actually shot the handgun, we can uh... So the handgun glitch, you can actually do it on doors, you can do it on like nearly anything like um... So we're gonna do it on this door here to save a bit of time. Alright. Why was I led here? Saves a little bit of time doing that. Okay, we get this uh, ammo here, get the flash bolts. <laughs> Incoming soon is my favorite favorite parts of the game, chapter 10. Right I can hear you breathing. And uh incoming the we the newest <laughs> skip in the run. <laughs> it's a skip that I will be able might be able to do right away or it might take like a minute to do. So yeah. <laughs> if 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 I'm able to do it right away, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna show off and pretend that it's like, yeah, guys, see the skip. This is easy, you know. <laughs> I I do the skip like straight away every time. Uh, but if it doesn't happen, it's I'm gonna it's, I'm gonna look bad and you know that kind of thing. Yeah, a Kuba mode is one hit kill mode. A any damage you take from anything kills you. Right. Oh, okay. Potato aim. So let's see, I want to switch to the electric bolt here. Uh, so we have a. Uh, a fight in the barn here, which is just like a bunch of haunted spawning out. Uh, the, the fight is basically just two waves of three haunted together, so three will spawn out. First one, I'm gonna just snipe him here. And uh, second here, you can like reset his animation if you melee him. And then I use their body to burn the other, to burn those two now. And now the second wave are coming out. Right, the last hunter is spawning out, so I'm just getting ready to burn them. And there you go, that's the barn fight. It's a very good strat because it saves uh it saves a good amount of resources. But beforehand the original strat was just to use like two electric bolts. You've got to keep your strength up. All right. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> the infamous chapter ten. Uh, so at the very at the beginning, there's gonna be a bit of running I'm gonna do here before I do what I'm gonna be explaining here. But uh, so you might you might remember there's a part here with a spinning blade with like a bunch of like circus Ruben. music playing and all that. Does he mean Ruvik? And it's a blade that's like constantly spinning around over and over and you'll get decapitated by it. Uh, 
We're actually going to use that to our advantage to save time. At the beginning, I'm gonna, gonna shoot a glass window here. This is gonna bait out two haunted into the middle of the area so they get decapitated by it. And one of them has a gun and the other one, you know, just be a nuisance. So, yeah. So we shoot that, two of them will get baited out now. All right, so we just triggered the, the blade now. Better find cover. So we're just gonna get rid of this guy. This is all very specific what I'm doing, by the way. Uh, Gotta watch out here. Yeah. Yeah. I should have enough ammo to just like shoot him. I'm, I'm gonna wait for the way. Just be careful. I'm just gonna wait for the sniper. Is he gonna shoot? There we go. So when I get this axe here. All right. Alright, so I'm gonna actually craft a electric bolt here. So there's multiple strats I can do here. The strat where I'm gonna go over here is to set an electric bolt here. And then I'm gonna snipe this guy in the distance here. I snipe him. Oh, okay. I might die here. Okay. I think I might be safe here. Uh I think the best thing I can actually just burn him. Alright, he didn't die, so I'm gonna actually just wait for him. Yeah, look at th this guy. All right, if he, if he just sprints from me, I can like knock him on the ground and just shoot his head. All right. Oh, this this is not going how I was, I was intending, but hey, I'll take it. We haven't died yet, so I'm doing all I can to survive. Regardless, we've made it all this way, so. Alright, so I'm gonna get the axe here. I'm not actually gonna wait here. So there's usually a sniper waiting for me up above there. But I, I sniped them earlier with the electric when I was using the electric bolts. So watch the blade there. Okay. So we got we collected the, the battery there before. We're gonna use that here. Once you put this battery in here, another sniper's gonna spawn. And uh you can actually just like, um, I'm just gonna watch what's going on here, yeah. Here we go. So the sniper will always, uh, he'll always like miss you if you hide behind that wall there. What the? All right, guys, here we go. Skipping coming. I'm a, I'm a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but even though like, the thing about, I'm just nervous because it's RNG, like, Execution wise, it's just like waiting for it to happen. But uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Alright, so I'm gonna maybe go in here, throw a bottle, bait these, wait for the Ruvik clone. Is he gone? There we go. I'm just gonna run this way. Yeah. Just born getting out of the way. Alright, so, so usually you collect the battery here to progress the game, but we're actually just going to skip the whole segment and go here. Right, so we can actually leap up here. Right, we go like this. And basically what we want to happen here is Sebastian will attach to the, to the, to the, to the like the railing here, where I'm like just holding down A. So I just need to get to the right spot here. And I just want to hope Sebastian will... in sort of like a little bit RNG that he'll just attach to it for me. Right. Usually this can just happen right away, or it can just take like a few attempts. Alright. Most of the time I actually do get this like right away, but... Uh, the thing is, well, uh, Sebastian will more uh, like attach to it. If you have like... The, the handgun equipped like the way there we go got it there we go nice nice so that's that's the this is the newest skip of the game now the thing is the game uh you know the game at this point now thinks like we've progressed and we've place? turned on the power but we still can't actually progress so the only way to, around that now is to actually kill ourselves so Another intentional death we gotta do here. So we got a checkpoint now. 
left and now we just go here and just kill ourselves. And now the game thinks we have turned on the power because we've gotten this far, you know, to this point. And now we're here now. Okay, we got to here. Set down electric bolts. All right. Okay. So now we just uh, go here. You know, I'm actually very happy how uh, that skip didn't actually take that long to do. I was uh, thinking like, hmm, is it going to troll me? Also, you don't need to turn the crank here. You can actually just cross through here. Okay. Uh, so you can actually do the glitch on these levers is here. Uh, I prefer not to do it on this one. Just because it doesn't really save that much time. And if I have not shot a bullet, I will usually just waste, use the time uh, waiting for the door to open if I just shoot one bullet. But uh, you, you're going to see me use the glitch uh, on the levers here as well, coming up. And once again, we have Laura. We, we have another possible death incoming, so... If, if this is going to be the first death in the run, chat, it's, it's been good. <laughs> oh, 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 07 for the run so far, you know? It's, it's been a good ride. It's been a good, like, sort of semi-deathless run, kind of. Alright. So, look, see the way the crank just instantly turns there? Way here. I'm gonna get over here. All right, good. Uh, she actually did like uh, something rare there, where she teleports. She really like never, never does that. I think it was probably because I shot her so late. But uh, yeah, we dealt with her anyway. Okay. Alright, once again. Instant crack turn. <laughs> Sebastian still has to do the animation, but we're still, you know, we're waiting for the flames to go away, so. I'm gonna grab this ammo here as well. Okay. Wait for the stamina to regen. Gives lore again. I hope I uh, don't die here because this part's actually at a pretty lengthy checkpoint. So okay, and the valve skip thing, and now we just want to uh, bait lore around. We're gonna be trying to waste as much time as we can here. I'm gonna wait for a little bit here. And then go here now, bait her back. Gotta be careful, she can, uh, you know, troll us again. Well, she can troll us while we're trolling her. Alright. <laughs> so, as long as we just immediately run up to this crank, we have enough time to turn it. Right, nice, nice. And here's Laura gonna sprint up to us here. There she is. Oh, oh my god, she's angry. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, her. I'm gonna wait. Hold on. The uh, the sound is kind of glitched out. It's kind of weird, actually. I'm gonna wait. Wait for her. Right. Usually I could actually just run past it there, but let's name it for this time. Hey? 
right the, the final lore segments oh boy <clears throat> let's hope i don't mess this part up okay all right she's still there okay this is all kind of specifically timed it's boring do that oh i didn't be able to, that's fine smart i was i wanted to do the, the glitch in that lever ball so that i didn't like reload in the right timing but we're still fine it doesn't actually make that much of a difference we're still doing like what i intend to do and uh literally by the time i finish doing all this the the flame will literally just go away or just about just go away okay all right And there we go. Let's see, lower segments. It's pretty good. Besides the ending there, and you know, it was actually my fault. But I wasn't able to get that last. Uh, I, w I was intending to do the handgun glitch on that. On that valve, but. It's not that big of a deal, honestly. We're on our way to the Amalgam Alpha fight as well. Right. Shit, <laughs> back here again. Amalgam Alpha is a pretty easy fight, but he, he can be a... He can get me as well. He can troll. He definitely can troll. Let's see, am I... Full on flash bolts is one there, so I'm just making sure. So at the beginning of the fight here, we're going to uh, if we uh, set off a explosive bolt at the very beginning, the boss doesn't fully alert yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to set off an explosive bolt and then switch to a flash bolt and use the flash, and this will uh, usually stagger them. And then we're gonna switch back to the explosive balls and then use two, the other the other two that I have. Uh, and then I'm gonna use like two sniper rounds and then throw a grenade. And this should get him into phase two of them. Now sometimes he sometimes he likes to not get affected by the, the flash grenade. And that's usually what's gonna troll me. Or if I miss one of the explosive balls as well. Also, another thing, my own explosive buff can kill me as well. But there is like a... There is like a freaking like pillar or whatever that I'm standing behind, so... The... Yeah, alright, so we'll just hide behind here. Alright, we there's the stagger. Alright, hide behind here. Okay. Alright, throw the grenades. Yeah, there we go. That's phase. That's the trigger for, for phase two. Very good. Eh, all right, do that. Yeah, then we just uh, wait. Yeah, there we go. And uh, there we go. That's the amalgam alpha fight. Very nice. Hmm, thinking, um, I think that should be fine with sniper ammo wise. I think I'm actually, uh, in this hanging ammo here. Yeah, the Amalgam Alpha is uh, another infamous. You know, first Akubu playthrough segment, you know. 
that'll stop you for a while. Yeah, Akuma was the hardest mode in the game. It's a one-hit kill difficulty, so... Any damage you take and you're dead. Okay, chapter 11, this is another uh, insane chapter as well. A lot of people will consider this uh, the hardest chapter in the game. I'd say it's probably in the top three. Next to six and ten. We have a another skip as well incoming. Thankfully, this skip is uh, very very consistent. So uh, it doesn't stress me out like the one in chapter 10 did. <laughs> uh, so incoming here, there's a haunted staff. You can't actually like run by him, but it's a bit RNG. Sometimes you can like collision block it and just grab you. So to, so to for safety purposes, we're just gonna shoot him out of the way. Yeah, we're just gonna shoot him out of the way. I don't want that guy to ruin the no death run. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna harpoon this guy. It's gonna be a bit quick here. So usually you gotta do a lot more for this to get by this part, but thankfully we have a nice skip uh, for this part. Here we go. So if you climb up the ladder there and nudge forward twice and then aim at a certain part there, you can actually just like leap over the gate. Uh, the intentional way of doing that part is you have to click on that door that, you ju that we just jumped over. And that will like trigger a, a set, set amount of haunted and there's like a key behind them that you gotta get. So uh, doing that skip saves about like 40 to 50 seconds depending. Cause like you gotta like spend time like killing the haunted and getting around them. And then like on your way back even more haunted spawn as well. And they have machine guns as well. So that, uh, that skip actually does, does a lot. Alright, we shot the body. Here we can just uh, swim all the way here. The fish is going to pop up there as well, so we're just going to throw the bottle to bait it over there. Uh, incoming the here, there will soon. be two uh, Rufik clones that we gotta kill to progress, and also a few, a bunch of uh, like regular haunted. You can actually, all those haunted lying on the ground right now, you can actually like pre born them if you wanna make it a bit easier. I guess I will actually do that for this one here. Let's get rid of her. Yeah, let's see. Let's go over here. So once the segment begins here, I'm going to immediately use a harpoon. This will uh, make it so that I can just run up to this guy and uh, just burn him afterwards to instantly kill him. Alright, let's run up to uh, the clone here. You can uh, shoot the arms to get them away. Okay. And once you kill the, the clone, it also kills all the haunted as well. Where are we going? Here's Sebastian. There he is. Some kind of fake.
here's another infamous segment as well, especially if you're playing on Akumu, the... the sort of like garage shutter door segment where, you know, it goes... it opens up. Kidding. Haunted spawn out, you kill them, and then it goes down and more this spawn out. This filthy. Is this his doing? You really gotta know like how the the enemies work, especially with the with their some of them have guns and so on. You do realize there would be no one to replace me. Uh, so for the we're gonna upgrade the magnum here. Okay. You want the, the the important upgrade for the magnum is literally just getting the damage up, uh, and then I would either get the accuracy or the the fire ring. Uh, 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 either is fine. All right, let's hope I don't mess up this part now. Now we just gotta hope I don't mess up this part. Start off by sniping this guy. It's all uh there's multiple ways of starting out this fight. The, the way I'm doing it right here is kind of uh one of the safest ways. Um that's kinda I'm a, I'm gonna reload that. I'm just gonna reload this. I I needed to I meant to do that like more of a charged up shot. I needed to freeze bolt those guys in the back there. I thought I like timed the right, but I didn't. Okay. Right. There we go again. All right. Yeah, I would like to save my matches, so... Okay. So now we just uh, wait for these guys. Okay. So we set this on the ladder because, uh... If you set the... If you set down an electric bolt, like, upon, like, bodies that are burning and all that... I'm gonna wait for this guy. Uh, yeah, there's actually a chance, um, look at this guy being sneaky. I might actually die here, by the way, <laughs> um, yeah, 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 they got me. I was thinking because I was taking so much time, the enemies are all spawning in, yeah. Okay, game, okay. This has got to be the part that gets me. This is all, this part is just so specifically timed. If you just don't do everything like quickly, this is what happens. Right. Okay. Yeah, you have to just do this part like perfectly. Or this happens. All right, I actually fell off this time. Yeah, if I was able to just get the sniper right away, we would have been fine, but... Right. Okay, so we just wait. And I can craft another electric bolts. And uh, the electric bolts can despawn if you... If you uh, set them down on, like, where the enemies are burning and all that. Okay. So that's all that needed to happen there, and we would have been fine. <laughs> Alright. So now we have all the time to just wait here. We're waiting for these guys to spawn in. The guys that just uh, got me there. Alright. All we needed to do was just wait for them. They can't, like, shoot you until they jump down here. Ooh, that was uh, actually scary. Okay. 
know, we're just gonna go here and wait. This last guy here. The safe, safest way of just uh, waiting here for this and doing this. We're just gonna take our time here. You actually can chug two grenades at the right time here if you want. If you want to, you know, go for like optimal time. But uh, yeah, I would like to just be safe with that. Alright, so there's a sniper here as well. Oh, you only did one shot. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Uh, probably a mistake doing that. Okay. Ugh. These guys make me worried. Alright. You take him out with the Magnum. <laughs> just, just a one shot. Hey, yeah, we made it all the way to chapter 11. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Magnum on him, just get rid of him. Hopefully the flash bolts will actually work. Flash bolts tend to like to not work sometimes. You'll use them and they just don't get flashed. It kind of depends if they're on the same, like, ground as you or whatever. Oh, hey. R rumor has it. This is uh, one of people's favorite parts of the game. The main thing that'll get me killed here is potato aim with the handgun. If I miss too many shots. Alright. So I'll come up here, there'll be a guy spawn that'll spawn here, and then I'm gonna shoot this barrel afterwards to make the hunt just run into it. Okay, so we'll just shoot that. Shoot the barrel, get ready for this the next guy here as well. Alright. Oh, okay, that's not good. I might, uh... Ah. Uh, oh, this is making me worried. Alright. This was, uh... A li little bit sloppy, but we did it. <laughs> I was... It was like the... I was trying to shoot the barrels a lot sooner, but the game just, yeah, the handgun just wouldn't, wouldn't go for it. But hey, we did that anyway. Let's see, we have two sniper rounds left over. I usually would probably want to be left with one, so having two is actually, yeah, uh, pretty cool at this point. Like, we really would be still fine if I even had, like, zero sniper rounds at this point. Because we don't really need uh, so much, uh... The main ammo we only need right now really is uh, handgun and shotgun ammo. For the next uh, few segments. Okay. Kidman. Over here. Grab all this. So here we got a rescue Kidman here. She's being ambushed by all these haunted. So all these haunted that you see here, these are all connected to the area we're about to run to, the saber. So you actually can't take them out there and there'll be, there'll be less of them when we actually there. get there. So, uh... They all, they all get uh, one shot as well. Just, uh, it's not the best idea to use the handgun. Most likely you're just gonna miss. So just to make that part easier, we'll just get rid of those two guys. Okay. So, uh, yeah, if you, 
you, you don't need to like wait for the fish or you know go up that stairs or anything like you can literally just uh as long as you're going like if you're as long as you're moving the whole time you're able to you'll usually always uh avoid the fish every time so you don't need to stop or anything unless the game like makes you stop oh game what are you doing oh no <laughs> all right go oh the game's trolling I, I did not want to use a sniper around there but i had to because i had to reload the handgun and i, I needed to shoot that body or the fish was gonna kill me so i had to waste that ammo or it was dead oh video game what are you doing okay Bait all these guys here. Right. Is there one more left? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. I was like, I feel like there's probably one more left, and was right. Oh, nice! Look, the game's being generous. Oh yes. Oh my God, the game's actually being generous to us. <laughs> all right. You might, you might remember there's an elevator here with a key in it, and there's also a guy with a machine gun as well. Look out! But uh, yeah, you can just, uh, you don't need to like deal with them. As long as you just sprint the whole time here, you'll actually just run by them every time. So we just uh, run by and that's it. Uh, let's see. I'm so glad you're all right. Ever since the church, I... You were at the church? It makes yeah, me wonder if, if the game didn't He's kill me shape. there before. He was when I last saw would the, the Roomba the factory the have got Leslie. me here? I found him in a cage. That's, that's the thing, it he probably was. Ran, <sighs> well, one of the things that, like... Things. Have you been makes me not bleeds, like speedrunning at Kubu so Why? much is that... Joseph was. You know, it takes so like long to get to, to this point in the game, things. and it's just Maybe mostly complete RNG. So you can have such a nice run going, and you can get to this part, and then you can just die, and that's it. Uh, N Nightmare difficulty is actually like my favorite, like difficulty to run because it is it is the same as Akumu, just without the one hit kill. And uh, there's also more. There's also an, an extra skip that? you can do as well. well there's, no, there's actually two skips, you two extra skips you can do. Monster. You attacked me. I'm sorry, but you're tainted now. You might try to stop me through you. Wait, what are you talking about? This is just a stay waiting segment. Just gonna wait for Leslie at this door here. Like a good old close up of Sebastian. Leslie, is that you? <laughs> Alright, Rubas. I don't like you and you don't Leslie? like me, but uh I'm hoping you'll uh help me out here. I'm getting tired of playing games. <laughs> Danger, flammable. Danger, hmm. flammable. Alright, let's see what they're doing. So we're just gonna watch what they're doing and just trying to adjust to where they're going to to get around them. Alright, go. Very nice. Okay, good, good, good. That's some great RNG right there. Okay, so we can either flash here or I can just wait. For some reason, they don't hear your footsteps here. So we can actually just like run up and stealth kill them. I think it, I think it's something to do with the uh, the gas in the area and there's like haunted banging on the gates here. I think there's something with the sound like that. And yeah, we can just wait there and uh, stealth put them around. 
get the card key and just go back to here now. Okay. Flash those guys. Joseph. Oh my god, it's Brosev. Joseph the goat. Um, so yeah, here we are going to pre-equip the Magnum for the next chapter. There is a nice... There is a nice uh, sequence skip with the spider on the bus here. Uh, we, we figured out that if you shoot the spider in the face at the beginning of each segment that, you know, you did a part here, it actually skips um, a few of his uh, animations and attacks. But uh, yeah, you need to pre-equip the Magnum, get ready. Oh, oh, overall, for this whole chapter, this, this literally saves like two minutes of time. Do that so usually he, the boss will be trying to like swing at us right now but because we shot the magnum right away the boss will go right into bringing out these little slug things which is uh actually the trigger for like ending the segment with them so that's how we just quickly get rid of the first phase here Don't even need to collect any more gel around. We're done with gel upgrades. But we'll just get out of the way. Turn there. The so the spider will go away. It'll the spider will come back in a bit. Uh, when we do the second phase of the, of that fight. We have to make him summon out this slug things twice now, so we will have to deal with his actual attacks then. Uh, I guess I'll uh, just let this. Yeah. Okay. So this part here is mostly a time segment. I, th I think killing like the first three hunted here will quicken up this segment. Other than that, the rest of it is just uh, completely timed. It's all just uh, killing the right amount of hunt that you need to kill. You know, for just so they don't get to you or kill you. And the rest, and then from then on, it's just like surviving, uh, timing it out. Uh, nice, 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 got him. Uh, so we didn't actually kill that hunted there. We we just yeeted him out of the area, and he can't get back to the area now. And uh, whenever you kill those Molotov hunted, they respawn. But because we flung him out of the area, he's gone forever now, and he can't respawn. So very uh, very good strat for Kumu. If you want to, you know to make it an easier time, Joseph, help me out, please. Nice, okay. It's up here, I'm just waiting. Gonna use another harpoon here as well for this guy. Yeah. More of them on the move. Don't get yeah so this this Molotov guy here doesn't doesn't respawn. We just wanna shoot him enough to kill him. The game will allow me. Alright, good, good, good. Right, and uh, yeah, that's all we need to do now for this whole segment. We can just like chill out now. On top of us. We can just uh, wait out this now. More of them.
safety. The sniper on the right can despawn here. He usually does. Let's see if he does. J just because how optimized this game is, you know? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, man. This, this game is just so... It's so unique, man. You know, so many bizarre things to happen. What is the despawn like, you know? <laughs> is, is he just done with, with, with this part, you know? Is he all like, you know what, I'm leaving. That was a close one. Is he gonna... Is he gonna glitch out? No. Okay. And um, once again, we're going to re-equip the Magnum. So the spider's about to uh, come back. We'll do the same thing. Skip uh, a few of his attack animations. Keep us to the left up here. Okay. So hopefully we don't get trolled here. I sure hope I don't get trolled here, Copium. Oh god, team. Alright, good. Alright. So now we just gotta watch what he does here. Okay. All right, there we go. Nice. Yeah, we, we needed to do this twice. Um, let's see. I guess uh, I'm a bit worried to do this. Um, oh, the flash actually don't kill him. Ah, I'm dead. Come on. All right, we just got to do it again. I, I never actually tried the, uh, the flashes before, but yeah, apparently the flashes don't work. I thought they did. It's fine. I assume the checkpoint is uh, just before we, yeah, we do the Magnum. I should have actually, I should, I should have just used another grenade. Just uh, I'm thinking that. So I want two hand grenades for the the next keeper fight in chapter like thirteen. Oh no, game. I think it might, uh, I'm gonna reload again. Yeah, I really don't want to do this like when he does that because it just takes way longer. It, pr it probably actually still is quicker to reload here than to do it normally. Yeah, the, the shot just missed there for whatever reason, it just whiffed. Keep us to the left up here. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just use the grenade here. Just to uh, make it easier on myself. Alright, good. I'll, uh, I'll start off this first time. I'll, uh, I'll use my handgun and all that. For the next one, I'll uh, use the grenade. Alright, nice. So uh, the first one that attacks here doesn't actually kill you. It, it just... Uh, you know, grabs your leg or whatever. You don't actually die from it. But I guess the the, the spider's actually leg will actually be the thing that kills me. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, we we'll use grenades. Easy clap, and that's that's the whole fight done now. You really can't like just make it simple like what happened like before or compared to what happened there. Nice, more sniper rounds. I thought it was just like the one there. And let's see here. We have the all the flash grenades, okay. Yeah, that's the end of the bus segment as well. Uh so here, Joseph will get shot by a sniper, and we need to go. There's an ambulance in the, in the distance. 
And it will be Just haunted in a way. Here. Of course there is. Of course it's haunted There's in a way. There's an ambulance there. There might be some kind of first aid. I'll go. No, I'll do it. Don't let any of them on board. Okay, so there's a free explosive ball for us there. So we're just gonna go here. Just flash both those two. The the rest of the haunted area haven't seen us yet, so just gonna flash these guys, get around them. Sprint around them all here. Got our stamina regen. Just watch what they're all doing. Okay. Once you grab this, they all despawn now. Yeah, once you get a hemostatic, they all just, yeah, just gone. And then we have all these set of enemies now. Alright, so yeah, we'll go over here. We want to get rid of this guy. Alright, guess that was a good shot. Yeah, I'm gonna need this ammo. I will be waiting for these hunters to move here anyway, so... And uh, yeah, you don't need to actually use the machine gun here, you can just run to the end of this boss here and jump over. And there you go! It's uh, chapter 12. Yay! Yeah, the, the thing about when you're watching this run, you're gonna see all the, you know, how you can exploit this Shit. game as much as possible. <laughs> I, I guess that's speedrunning in general, though. Fast. Like, for example, you don't need to do anything here. This is a full, like, on-rail segment. It's gonna get a load you, you can go for a bathroom break if you want right now. You, it's not possible to die here. Uh, on, on the left side here, there's even going to be a truck in our way. The game actually turns the bus for, for you at the end of this. So you go into the cutscene. Oh no, we're going to crash. Nope. Nope, the game turns the bus for us. So yeah, I was never really a fan of like, not, like I don't really hate the chapters, but when I was first, pl first playing this game, I was never really a fan of chapter 11 and 12. I, fe I felt like that's when the game was, you know, Is that starting to acid? lose like its charm or whatever. But then when I got when I when I got to this to this chapter in chapter 14, I really uh, started uh, liking the game again. I, I really enjoyed these apartment sections, and then like doing like the subway parts in chapter 14, all the way to the octopus boss. What could cause this much damage? Is that a subway sticking out of the ground? Yeah, but look how it's positioned. If we can get over there, we might be able to use it to get across. Let's just concentrate on getting out of here. Yeah, guys, again, thank you everyone for uh, watching this run tonight. Thanks for stopping by this late. Very, uh, very late that we did this run, but... Very, um... I would say it's like, uh... It's, it's, it, it much suits this game to do this run at this time, no, you know? don't risk it. <laughs> Hold on. No, no better hours than to play some Evil Within, level. starting at three o'clock in the morning, pitch darkness. <laughs> but uh, yeah, regardless, thank you all for being here, guys. Oh boy, uh, apartment section here. Let's see. Uh, what do I have on me here? I assume I want to have like this. Alright, I'll do with the more safer strats since I've only one freeze bolt on me. This, uh, this is another part that has multiple strats we can do. Uh, we're gonna start off this part by running up to here. I'm just gonna walk, walk up here, let this guy see me. There's a trap in front of me, we're gonna let him run into it. 
Okay. I'm just gonna immediately run up and burn him. I'm gonna go back here. There's a bottle I can get here. I'm gonna use that to bait these hunted over here. Hopefully, I have uh, gotten all the haunted here. I, I think I might not have gotten them all. No, maybe I did actually. No, I didn't actually. Have to find it. Excuse the flash. Okay. Apparently, like, if I threw the bottle, if the bottle went onto the ground, it would have attracted every haunted in the whole area. And I would have baited them all to the beginning of the area. And we could have just, like, ran around, but still good. We still got around, around there, uh, regardless. Okay. Let's go out here, burn this guy. Get the freeze ball though for the keeper here. Oh, yeah, there we go. He had a jumps there. <laughs> Haven't you figured it out yet? Oh, he loves tormenting others. Has to let them know he has the upper hand. Uh, if you see me like slowly Gets disarming a trap, it's because you have to, uh, Pyro. The trap, the the you acid traps me. aren't like shootable or anything like that. On. So I could see it, but I couldn't turn back. I had you have to, to click I on them to just the to truth. disarm them. He knew it. Detective Castellanos. Lady, level with me. Am I going crazy? If one wishes to survive. Okay. Wrap here. We can just run by this guy here. The hunter will always like do like a quick turnaround to tr do a grab animation, so you can literally just like run into here and just get around them. Joseph. And let's see. Yeah, two electric bolts. I mean, it's what I want. Yeah, so we have more rooms here. Th thankfully, this is more of a... Y you have more control on these segments here. We're going to use a couple of uh, electric bolts as well. Start off, we'll grab this electric bolt. We're going to that one here. More than likely, those two Roombas will go into that electric bolt. And we got one of them. No, we actually got both of them. They went in at the same time. Or it actually came from the lane. We just didn't hear the, the sound effects. Okay. I'm going to wait here. There's a flame thing there. Let's make sure it doesn't get me. Alright. So we'll set a electric bolt here. There is now... One of these Roombas here. There we go. That Roomba has an explosive on it. So... We want to make sure we set that there, just to make sure it's get me. And of course the other ones. But yeah, the deadly Roombas. Eh, we have one hand grenade, okay, it's fine. Eh, let's see, I'm gonna... 
up here. You again. Just let your bolt in that Roomba. Just to make sure he doesn't get me. Uh, let's see. Okay. So we need to kill the keeper here like what three times? The Epic Store version, uh, the FPS is adjusted. The FPS is a bit. Uh, just makes the whole game uh, act God weird. The, an the animation on the enemies and all that isn't what it's supposed to be. So, like, it kind Fine. of adjusts that. There's also a first person mode as well. You can play the game with first person. The, uh, the default stamina is adjusted as well. Um, you can sprint for just about up to five seconds instead of three. I better find so, yeah, you made some uh, quality of life changes. Two to go, Cha. Two to go. Overall, it's been a great run. I'm very happy we uh, got all through, you know. Get, getting through from, like, Chapter 2 to Chapter 10 is actually pretty great. Joseph, you've got to be alive. Yeah, it's, it's the same as the... It's the, it's the same as the Game Pass version, yeah, the Microsoft Store version. I, I actually, I haven't fully checked it, but I think, um... I think the Epic Store version doesn't have the fighting chance pack, I thought it did. But I can't confirm that, actually, I haven't actually checked myself. But the Microsoft Store version does have the fighting chance pack, that I can't confirm. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, we just use an electric bolt there to get around that. If you want to, and here's a nice little easy strap if you want to get past the subway park here. So just run to here and just like jump onto the side here. And all you gotta do is just run to here and use the flash bolts. And then you can just run by everything here. Very nice and easy strap you can do for this subway segment. I guess I'll get the shotgun ammo here, just in case. We need to run to here for a trigger. Way here. Just waiting for my stamina. Nice, I have more than enough uh, trap parts that I need for the rest of the game. Most of it's going to be spent on crafting uh, electric bolts. Okay. So you can actually uh, save time in, the, 
uh, in the water segments here, if you if you press the shoot button like this, and you do like the free aiming, you actually uh, walk faster. You can actually get through these parts quicker. And uh, we have, uh, is it, I think it's two more. We do the, the hang on glitch again here. Here we go. Instant valve turning. And uh, the next one is actually pretty nice because before we, before we, before this glitch was, was discovered, we would have to use a an electric bulb here. So we save four trap parts by not needing it anymore. Right. Shit. Okay, do that. Gotta be more careful. Very tight timing as well. So if I if I mess up this, um, we are toast. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna be running around alter egos here, and if we're not quick enough, they'll actually grab me. So because of how fast we turn the crank, we can actually just. Uh, you know, torn it and then get out. So this alter ego to my right here is going to be going up to me. Okay, so we do that. Speedily torn it there to get around them. And uh, yeah, that saves us a good amount of uh, trap parts. Okay. We skip a long, long animation by shooting the boss there yeah, let's see we get this, uh, this ammo uh, I'm gonna put the magnum in the shortcut here we're gonna use it for the boss fight let's craft more electric bolts so for this Shit. boss fight we this will use a electric bolt and about roughly about eight handgun rounds Damn it. or magnum what rounds sorry electrician kind of specific how this fight is done as well we want to wait a second before we set down the electric bolt on the ground because usually if you set it down like immediately it'll like make the boss do a weird animation where you won't be staggered for for long but if you wait a second it will make them be staggered for longer right. All right, let's see what he does now we're just gonna wait a second and go All right, there we go. And uh, this is what happens when you do this glitch on these machines here. <laughs> I love showing this off. Didn't I tell you guys this game is optimized? <laughs> Very nice. But uh, yeah, uh, the, yeah, the strap for that fight. We start off do electric bolts, shoot four times. Um, usually, probably about two to three shots in the head. Um, you, you don't want to do too much damage at the beginning because the boss jumps up into the ceiling in phase two. So we want to just do an, just about enough damage. Um, and then the boss does an animation where he's like bring out, he's like bring out the little slug things uh, out of his mouth. But like he's stuck in that animation while he's doing it. So I can just unload four more magnum bullets to finish him off then. Because he's stuck in that animation. Eat your heart out, PPD. <laughs> Once the speedrun is done, I've technically completed it. Win win. <laughs> That's a winning attitude right there. 
I don't need to complete Evil Within a Kubu. I have watched it be done. You published my research in your name again. Did you think I wouldn't find out? And I have done you a favor. Okay. You have no Forced unskippable dialogues here. Never appear in a reputable journal otherwise. Nobody in the world knows you even exist. Oh, but they will know. I have surpassed you in every way you can imagine. No matter. I have what I need. All that's left is the procedure. Sebastian is just totally done at this that point, you know. He's all like, here. duh, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Let's move on. You wouldn't dare. You couldn't. Precisely. Alright, we do the exact same thing that we did here in chapter 5. To set to down a electric bolt. And I actually specifically stand here to move this guy's body. It'll make him be more in the middle of the room. Just to uh, help uh, get all the haunted into the, into the electric bolts. Okay. Alright chat, here we go. The final chapter. Chapter 15, An Evil Within. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry chat to announce to you all. You've all. We've all been lied to. This game is called An Evil Within, not The Evil Within. Man, we've been duped and lied to. Alright. Nobody here at all? Ruvik? Losing our minds. Losing our minds. Losing our minds. Oh, hey, look, it's us Evil Within fans waiting for the Evil Within 3 to come out. Bethesda, hello. Losing our minds. <laughs> Tango. <laughs> This way. Losing our minds. <laughs> hey, wait. Go. <laughs> All right, kid, where are you taking me? You speed run the Evil Within 2? I have, yeah. I've speed run the Evil Within 2 on, uh, on GDQ as well. We've done that there a few months ago. This way. It's going to come down. This way. This way. Sebastian! I assume, I assume we're making uh, some good time in this run since we haven't... I don't think we've lost too much time. Beacon, just like Joseph said. 
All right, let's go. Make our way back to Beacon again. Solid run, to be honest. Yeah, no, this run was actually uh, far exceeded my expectations. I knew it. My, my hope was like to try and get like five deaths uh, like at the most. So we've only had like what two, two or three. Do 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 do. Dude. The sedative they used on me must have been my home. P plus the four steps that we need to do for uh for the two skips in chapter three and ten. <laughs> oh hey, we're back here, but we can sprint this time now. So watch, watch Sebastian's running animation here, running up these stairs. It's so like derpy and cartoony. Look at him go. <laughs> Man, I, sh I should be laughing. That's probably how I run upstairs now. Now that I think about it, maybe I should be laughing. One final like gauntlet of the game here. By lantern. Oh boy. So this part's a little bit uh, tightly timed. We need to be running to certain spots at the very beginning of this fight if we want it to go like correctly or fast. There's enemy enemy spawn out groups and so on. So we'll start out by immediately running to here. Want to get here as quickly as possible because we need to set down electric bolt before these something spawn in, or they're just gonna like run around. You don't really have much time at all. Okay. First set there. Now the next like four will spawn here. Okay. Alright, there we go, nice. I'm gonna see craft these two, gotta hurry up as well, because Yeah, these guys are gonna spawn in. There we go, nice, perfect. Now if I'm lucky, I will burn all four of these hunts together. If the checkpoint pops up, we got them all. No, I didn't get the it's fine. This freeze bolt is a an emergency, so. If I fail the, the burn, we can just, uh, yeah, freeze both them. Okay. Uh, so now, 
So basically, to fully exit this part, we need to kill the the Zacetus with an RPG that's going to spawn in. And we need to kill uh, the three haunted, I think, if that spawn here. And then another three haunted will spawn here. So we're going to set uh, bolts there. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Now I'm going to take my time here because they like to... They like to take their time if I run up immediately. Alright. And there we go. And here's the Sadis with the RPG. I'm going to like wait a second before I run here because his RPG could bounce off the walls that I'm running through there. Oh god. Yeah, I didn't think he'd get me there. It's fine. Thankfully the checkpoint stick right here, so. Eh uh, wait, where where do I run to now with the checkpoint? I guess it's like just one around here. Eh, let's see. Got parts. Damn, I thought I wouldn't actually bar to, uh... Wait, I think I need to... Do I, do I need to... No, I don't need to read out the call. Right. Yeah, we just do the same thing again. It, it's like, it really is actually very lucky that he got me there as well now I'm thinking about it. For him to actually get me there, it needs to be like a certain like point where I'm running. I think we should be fine if I just... Uh... Let's wait here. Alright. Once you get close, we'll be switches to the chainsaw. I, I literally just need to get, um... Yeah, just one sniper shot in the head and I'm good to go. Alright. Okay. Usually I would actually, um, have one sniper around, or one magnum around on me at this point, but... It's fine if I don't as well. Do I have a grenade on me at all? I don't, so I'm gonna get a cheat this. Is there... Which side has the sniper rounds? There we go. I think I heard it say YOLO. <laughs> Yeah, I also specifically play with controller. I I'm not comfortable with keyboard and mouse, so couldn't even play with keyboard and mouse if I tried. Well, I could, I just wouldn't be fast. Okay. So that's the uh, the double keeper fight. Uh, uh, another also obvious reference to Silent Hill 2, the you know the two hermit heads. I created this world. You cannot keep me here. How much evil is within tonight? Well, considering we started this run at 3 o'clock in the morning for me, very, very uh, evil. Very evil. Uh, let's see. Wanna go? Yeah, let's start. Um, go. Right, go. Right, I'm constantly crouching there so the bomb doesn't go off. Right, we can flash the eyes. 
Okay, we just shoot that. Okay. Run, Sebastian. So you usually would actually like try to avoid the blood and all that when you're sprinting, but you can actually just um you can actually just stay to the like the, the corner there and just like sprint all the way down. But uh, yeah, at this point now, the main gameplay is basically done. The rest of the game is like more scripted, you know, on rails. It's, it's kind of the thing that disappoints me with the ending of this game. You know, you, you, when you're playing this game, you spend the majority of this game, you know, upgrading your skills and, you know, upgrading the accuracy, your gun, the damage and all that. And you don't even use your actual weapons on the, the final fight. If I make it out alive, I'm never riding in The game's like, again. I guess, final fight with actual, you know, with your actual guns. It is the, like, the segments we just did there with the double, the double keepers, the RPG sadist. I guess that's the, the game's intended final fight <clears throat> before you uh, do these parts. It can be. This, this is something they improved on with the sequel as well. The, the, the sequel has a nice ending boss, I think. The, the Myra boss fight, I think, is that uh, pretty good. It's kind of funny like looking at these parts when you're just skipping all the scenes because it's like it's just Sebastian constantly being thrown around. <laughs> okay. So this is just, you know, watch out for the arms, avoid them, run around. Hey look, the boss has braces. What's going on there? An amalgam with uh, good dental care. The only real downside is you're going to break his braces. Yeah, actually, no, 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 well, if you want to end this part quickly, you want to be aiming for the, the brain. Eh. I could have actually ended it right there if I got the right shots off. Well, there we go. But uh, yeah, how much you shoot the brain there does it does some sort of impact to this part as well with the, the RPG. You can also see like his um his, his head is like kind of off there as well. I love a Kuma mode because like he has a pipe through his chest, but that's not damage. Yeah. <laughs> There's also a part as well in chapter eleven where you see him like. Uh, you see him like actually take damage and all that, but he doesn't die from it. We're getting hit by a bottle from Joseph Kill. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that was nice. I almost got the headshot there. 
at the very beginning there does a if you time it right you can get a headshot it's a very specific uh shot okay So you can actually do this part like extremely fast if you get the right headshots off. It's actually really hard to do. Alright, nice, nice. We got two headshots already, so that's good. Okay. Nice. Actually saved a bit of time there on that. No, don't fail the funnel shot. Right. Uh, I in in the past years ago I have failed no death runs to that funnel shot. It happens. <clears throat> Ma mainly purely just because like I'd be so nervous that, uh, you know, we got this far and then I'll just start, like, shaking and all that. We still got a little bit of time before time. I created this world. You cannot keep me here. Still got a bit. You, you, it it kind of looks like it, the game's over, but no, there's still, still a bit more. This. Not yet, Snake. It's not over yet. It, w it would be perfect if the IG. We we. I remember years ago we we did used to think the IGT stopped here, but now it doesn't. Sadly, because it is the end of the gameplay, but. The in-game time timer stops once you skip this first cutscene here. That's when the IGT stops. Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. No one can. All right, Jennifer Carpenter, if you say so. All right, so time incoming. And time. <laughs> All right, GG. That's GG. Got. Let's get a. Uh... See the results here. So yeah, Kumu in three hours and two minutes, and four deaths. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, also, like, uh, what? Two of those deaths were technically. Uh... They have planned right yeah that they were on purpose for skips so really two deaths you know <laughs> quote and quote <laughs> but well, yeah, pretty pre good stuff pretty good stuff for a gdq run you know uh, and keep keep in mind this is a no dlc pack run so it takes a bit longer to do this run the the quickest time is around 257 so it's not that far off but uh yeah Great run, guys. Thanks for watching. Absolutely. Good stuff. Uh, as well, if anyone did want to find you on Twitch or anywhere else, where can they find you? Yeah, guys. Uh, follow me over on twitch.tv slash jigsaw underscore killer. S same as uh, Twitter as well. Uh, I, I'm i My channel is a dedicated Evil Within and Res Evil channel. So if you want to see speed runs, story runs, uh, marathons, yeah, give us a follow. And, uh, yeah, we uh, do this stuff all the time, so... But uh, yeah, uh, I just want to say, Ekdizes, thank you so much, man, for, you know, contact me, ask me to come back and do this run for the third time, I think. So it's, I think I've done, mm -hmm. like, both games twice each. So this is the, the fifth run. Uh, yeah, I believe so. I also it, will be uploaded to uh, YouTube, I do believe. And more importantly, it's kind of nice being able to see uh, how much has changed even from the first time we had it. Yeah. You no, know, last time we had in the uh, reload, um, 
valve skip and now being able to bypass like all like a good chunk of chapter 10 is pretty nice no, yeah, that's that's. I was really excited to show off the chapter ten skip because it's something you know. Not sure how it's gonna go. It went pretty well. Absolutely. Anyway, I do want to say thank you again for the run. If you have not checked out Jigsaw Killer, you can find the link in Twitch chat. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Yeah. Have a good day, everyone. Uh, all right, for everyone else as well. Hope you all enjoy the show. Uh, that has been this episode of Speedruns from the Crypt. Uh, it was fun doing the evil within Akumu. It's always been very impressive to watch, especially considering we only had two actual deaths throughout that run. Uh, however, the next time you'll be seeing me is for Halloween. On October 31st, we'll be having a Halloween special. Just, uh, you know, it's the showcase I've been doing for three years now. I think it's our fourth, three or four. I don't remember the exact amount. Uh, anyway, it should be fun. I'll be on Halloween Day. Uh, hope to see you then, and hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or night. As well, make sure you tune in tomorrow for the first step, as followed by As Seen on TV, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. All right, have a wonderful rest of the day or night.